when it comes again to AI and computers, I think, again, I don't think that at, at the present moment, computers are conscious, but people are already forming intimate relationships with AIs and are therefore almost irresist it's almost irresistible. They are compelled to, to increasingly feel that these are conscious entities. And I think we are quite close to the point when the legal system will have to take this into account. That even though I don't think computers have consciousness, I think we are close to the point the legal system will start treating them as mm -hmm. conscious entities because of this social convention. What do you as a social convention, just a funny little side effect, a little uh, artifact, or is it like, fundamental to what consciousness is? Because if it is fundamental, then it seems like AI is very good at forming these kinds of deep relationships with humans. Yeah. And therefore it will be able to be a, a nice catalyst for uh, integrating itself into these social conventions of ours. It, it was built to accomplish that. Yeah. We are designed, again, you know, all this argument between uh, 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 natural selection and uh, uh, creationism, intelligent design. Um, as far as the past go, all entities evolve by natural selection. The funny thing is, but when you look at the future, more and more entities will come out of intelligent design not of some God above the clouds, but of our intelligent design and the, the intelligent design of our clouds, of our computing clouds, they will design more and more entities. And this is what is happening with AI. It is designed to be very good at forming intimate relationships with humans. And uh, um, in many ways, it's already doing it almost better than, than human beings in some situations. You know, when two people talk with one another, one of the things that kind of uh, um, makes the conversation more difficult is our own emotions. You're saying something, and I'm not really listening to you because there is something I want to say, and I'm just waiting until you finish, I, I can put in a word. Or I'm so obsessed with my anger or irritation or whatever that I don't pay attention to what you're feeling. This is one of the biggest obstacles in human relationships. And computers don't have this problem because they don't have any emotions of their own. So, you know, when a computer is talking to you, it can be the most, it can focus 100% of its attention is on your, what you're saying and what you're feeling because it has no feelings of its own. And paradoxically, this means that computers can fool people into feeling that, uh, oh, th th there is a conscious entity on the other side, an empathic entity on the other side, because the one thing everybody wants almost more than anything in the world is for somebody to listen to me, somebody to focus all their attention on me. Like I want it for my spouse, for my husband, for my mother, for my friends, for my politicians. Listen to me. Listen to what I feel. And they often don't. And now you have this entity which 100% of its attention is just on what, what I feel. Mm -hmm. And this is a huge, huge temptation and I think also a huge, huge danger. Well, the interesting catch 22 there is, you said somebody to listen to us. Yes, we want somebody to listen to us, but for us to respect that somebody, mm. they sometimes have to also not listen. It's like, um, they kind of have to be an asshole sometimes. <laughs> they have to have mood sometimes, they have to have, like self-importance and confidence and and uh, we should have a little bit of fear that they can walk away at any moment. There should be a little bit of that tension. So it's like- Absolutely. <laughs> but but even that, I mean, yeah. the thing is, <laughs> even that, for. If, if social scientists and psychologists establish that, I don't know, 17% inattention mm -hmm. is good for a conversation because then you feel challenged, oh, I need to grab this person's attention, you can program the AI to have 17, exactly 17% 17 in attention, not one percentage more or less, or it can by trial and error discover what is the, 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 the ideal percentage. Again, you, you, you can create, over the last 10 years, we have creating machines for grabbing people's attention. This is what, what has been happening on social media. Mm -hmm. Now we are designing machines for grabbing human intimacy, which in many ways it's much, much more dangerous and scary. Already the machines for grabbing attention, we've seen how much 
social and political damage they could do uh, by in, in when by kind of distorting the public conversation machines that are superhuman in their abilities to create intimate relationships this is like psychological and social weapons of mass destruction if we don't regulate it if we don't train ourselves to deal with it uh, it could destroy the foundations of human society